Hey you guys, I have a quick add-on um, pertaining to the healings I was talking about um, for my that I have in my shop. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Um, the karmic one, but not just that one. It could pertain to any of them really um, because it depends on who it is. I'll start off applying it to the karmic one. So when I described the karmic healing, I mainly was talking about if I need to guide the karmic's higher self through the process of breaking any vows or um, agreements, contracts with the dark and their negative, um, dark, evil, <laughs> nefarious plans that they have for, for your twin flame and uh, whatnot. And, you know, I have to do a whole video series <laughs> about spiritual warfare. It's been on my list. And people have been asking for it. I do need to do that. Um, various reasons why I haven't yet. One of them being time. <laughs> and the other being... It's a sensitive topic. Even for me in my life as well. Like even though I talk about it so much. And so easily. You know there are people close to me. Who don't know a lot about it. And I do have that thought process of... You know if they watch these videos. They're going to be like dude, what the hell has been going on with you? <laughs> or something like that. Or, oh my God, we have to save you. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want people all around me to freak out who, because you know, we all have people in our lives who don't understand what we've been through. And honestly, even my own twin flame, like, you know, he knows a little bit, but he doesn't know everything. So I don't want to like drop all of these bombs <laughs> in a video and then, and then people in my life are like freaking out. So yeah, I need to explain about spiritual warfare and I haven't, um, I haven't yet. It is on my list and I do intend to do it soon. But um, just to explain a little bit real quick, how do I go off on these tangents? I swear, this isn't what I meant to say. Uh, <laughs> and I'll make it quick. So spiritual warfare against twin flames is very prevalent 50 percent of twin flames are dealing with spiritual warfare and the reason for that is because um because twin flames are helping with ascension the dark doesn't want twin flames coming together in union and so even though we have karmic partners and entities and whatnot attacking us anyway the dark is also using them to do that to prevent the twin flame unions so let me also add entities demons all that stuff are way more prevalent in the world than what people even realize like take not even worrying about twin flames like it, they're extremely common entities come to anyone who goes through major traumas and that's just one of the things that they do and it's part of people's soul journeys and life lessons um i know someone who I know someone whose fiance uh, murdered his mother and tried to kill her. And I did confirm with spirit that that was, that was a case of possession. It was not just him doing that for whatever reason. Not, not just holding a grudge and attacking his mother. It was a case of possession. So there are many times that entities are involved in people's lives and making their lives worse than they need to be or partial possessions are going on that people don't realize um so spiritual warfare is already a thing anyway and i said in the other video about people can project black magic without even knowing that they're doing that um because it's just intense focused negative thoughts that's why we are taught in religion that even hating someone is bad so um, so yeah, they're prevalent anyway. And then add to it for twin flames, it's even worse because the dark is trying to prevent twin flames from coming together. And I have seen, even though I've seen much more commonly the karmic partners doing stuff to attack, um, divine masculine and to keep twin flames apart because they're trying to make the divine masculine be their own twin flame or their own soulmate instead of allowing them to live the life they're meant to live with their true divine feminine. I have also seen cases where someone randomly, like it's not it's not a karmic partner, it's just someone else, a friend or a colleague or whatever who 
randomly decides to attack the person. And it's a, it's a twin flame, of course. It's usually a divine masculine, but can be a divine feminine. Um, yeah, yeah, I've seen that that because they are being, uh, not because, anything. Because the dark doesn't want, is the dark is trying to find a way to attack you and to keep you from union. So they just find someone, find anyone. Oh, this person's jealous of this person. So the dark will attack, will attach to them and will influence them to do something like black magic or whatever to affect the other person. Like I've seen that happen too. And it, it, it has occurred so randomly that you're like, what the heck? Why is that person doing that to them? Like there's no reason for it. It's not like they're trying to keep them in a relationship or something like that. It's just bizarre. So basically the dark does do this to people in order to try and prevent twins from coming into union. So, so I just wanted to, for whatever reason, I guess spirit wanted me to say that right now, that spiritual warfare attacks do happen in that way also. And yeah, the karmic healing can help with that. Um, and that's why my focus was on that in the first place. But then when I woke up this morning, I kind of like got a little reminder from spirit, I guess that it's not just about in spiritual warfare cases of, disconnecting people from these negative attachments from the dark that are influencing them the the karmic healing and honestly even the inner child and the past life healings and their soul retrievals and all that stuff that is also about or can be about um healing you know the individuals involved so that they no longer you know have these have the negative energy around the certain events that occurred or have negative cords, negative attachments to you. Um, I'm going to have to use different examples to explain that properly. But like, okay, so with the inner child healing, if it's your parents, if it, it, it can be healing, healing the effects on both sides from negative events that occurred like in your childhood, whether it was around abandonment or around the way, excuse me, sometimes a parent, you know, doesn't know how to be a great parent because of various reasons. They can be neglectful. They can be emotionally abusive whatever, and they may or may not intend to be. So it can be healing stuff around that and healing it on both sides and then releasing that soul contract. So the biggest thing about what I was trying to get to <laughs> is that we have soul contracts with everybody. We have soul contracts with our parents, our friends, our family, everyone in our lives who is significant, who plays a significant role in our lives, our bosses, like anybody. So, um, the any of these healings like the inner child is going to refer to people that influence us in this lifetime the past life is obviously people that affect us from past lives soul retrieval it just depends on what the reason is like if it was one of those where i talked about um, lifetimes that you spent dark it can be your own soul contracts with either people in those past lives when you were dark or entities that affected you um so that's what I mean, like the different examples. Um, it just depends on what it is that someone needs, but what the healings will do will be guiding us through the process of healing the trauma and the negative energy and emotions from whatever occurred um, and releasing the karma and releasing the soul contracts so that that's no longer something that is that, you, that you're holding on to. Like, you know how we get caught up in our heads and our hearts holding on to something mentally and emotionally? It will release that so that it, you can let it go and they can let it go. And the relationship, if you're still going to be in the relationship in some capacity, it can move on in a, in a good way. Like, not necessarily leave each other behind, but like it can heal and grow and evolve in a good positive way instead of having that negative energy, negative attachment from it all. So that's another thing that was important that um, spirit, you know, nudged me about this morning to let you guys know that though these healings they can be about releasing attachments to the dark or to attack or to negative entities and black magic and stuff, but it can also be simply about releasing that negative energy or toxic energy that builds up with anybody, and releasing the soul contracts and the karma that have to be released in order for everybody to heal and move forward in their lives in all of the right ways. So that's something else that's important just to know that it occurs and it, whether it's me or anyone else or you do it yourself, that that's healing that needs to happen for many as well. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions about that. Hopefully that helps explain things a little better too.